I, that's very interesting. I've never seen that zombie before. So, <gasps> what the heck? And we're also going against humans. That's hey, what is going on, everybody? Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are back once again playing Dead Ahead Zombie Warfare. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the Infected Metro mode, which was added with this brand new update. Now, there are a lot of things that were added. Um, and I actually want to go over those in a video. However, one of the things that I'm really interested in is this new Metro mode. And that is because for players like, like myself who have been playing this game for a very long time, when it comes to in game stuff, there isn't much for us to do, but this is one of the things that the developers did to address that issue. Now I'm coming into this blind. I'm not sure how this Metro station works, uh, but we are going to give it a try and I will hopefully try to fix my deck and see how well things go from there. So let's start. Maybe I'll start with this one. And it looks like we have three objectives, objectives, kill um, six enemies, kill starting, kill starting enemies. I'm not sure what that means. Kill starting enemies in 45 seconds and six, 45 seconds, six. Oh, so I guess the quantity is six and then kill starting enemies in 30 seconds, six. So, and then for reward, we get a hundred uh, points um, and it looks like we get some power points as well. So let's go ahead and give this a try and see how well this works. Oh, and look at that, they haven't even, um, any animation. And this looks kind of cool. We have, looks like we only have five. No, like they said, they only have six zombies and we have to kill them in six seconds. Or, oh, look, and then they have that the stuff in there. Not six seconds, but we have to kill them. I don't know, although we have that timer going on. I'm not sure what that means. And it looks like, oh, that was quick. So I guess since that was the first level, they kind of want to go easier on us to show us show us how this works and it looks like the zombies level went up now we're going against level five so let's go ahead and use this guy once again i like the music too and it looks like there is no barricade for us to destroy so we just have to pretty much just kill zombies in here and it looks like we only have to kill the ones like that like it said like the started starting enemies that were shown at the beginning and another cool thing that i'm noticing is that once our units are done rather than going crazy like they used to like on an endless mode they actually go back to the boss which is kind of cool and so far with this level from what i can tell in order for us to accomplish the goals, at least at this level, we will want to have a unit that doesn't take a long time to be ready. Um, so I'm assuming since this is like super, super easy. Um, once we go to more challenging stages, we, I might want to um, update my deck to account for that. So I got nine stars for all of those. And then we have a gift thing here. So let's see what we get here. Wow, look at that. We actually got a lot of stuff. So we have 150 coins. So let's go ahead and grab all of those. And, and the cool thing about it is that it resets every two weeks, I think, or at least every week. It's a seven day sensing hour. So let's go ahead and jump into station two. Okay, so it looks like the, the objectives are the same too. We just have to kill six zombies, which are the first zombies that we see once we jump into a level. Um, so again, I'm assuming that. Oh, so okay. So this one is a little bit different because now we have bulletproof zombie so we might want to take that into account so let's go ahead and use this guy which is super cool and again not too too bad at least like the first two stages are not that difficult but now as you guys see here we have bulletproof zombies so i need to take that into account and make sure that i'll be able to kill those within the time frame that they're giving me. Oh, and like, of course, we're getting more zombies and, oh, what am I doing? Oh, but we only got two stars, so. Yeah, so now that I'm becoming more aware of this, I definitely want to um, use units that I can deploy faster. Now we have, becoming a little bit more challenging because now we have firefighter zombie. And as you guys know, once you kill them, they sometimes deploy, um, oh my God, and look at that. That's the first time that I see that zombie. So that was quick. So we got that. Nice. Uh, that's very interesting. I've never seen that zombie before. So <gasps> what the heck? And we're also going against humans. That's actually pretty cool, actually. 
and they're getting closer so do they go do they shoot our school bus doesn't look like they do but now we're going up against well we actually keep them pretty quick so this guy is kind of cool so we got the reward there we finished that so but that's pretty cool actually so i wonder uh, well i hope that at least so we definitely want to go back and get that one star so we can get all the rewards so the last reward we were not able to get so so we'll go back and finish that one now my question is since this rotates every two weeks or one week will the challenges be the same because if that's the case i can see that getting boring fairly quickly uh but i will have to dig deeper to try to figure out hopefully that's not the case my guy almost went down there hopefully that's not the case because then again we'll we'll be back to the same scenario where okay we finish all of the missions right we come back the following week and then pretty much we have to do the same thing over and over again so hopefully they can figure out a way to rotate the challenges um, and make it more engaging rather than doing the same thing over and over again because once you do them and you can figure out how to finish the level um then there's no fun with that whereas if you have uh, rotations and different uh challenges then you can you know you you are forced to use a different strategy per level so yeah this one we're definitely not gonna get three stars because uh um, we have those zombies there yeah definitely need me to oh but look at us we have this but this will be not, not enough time i definitely need to take 42 seconds yeah two stars we just it's it's fine whatever we'll, we'll go back and, and get the third star in a little bit but then here now again we have bulletproof i think that's gonna be the more challenging ones i'm doing the bulletproof ones or at least not challenging in the sense that it will be hard to do but in in time frame that they're giving us because they're giving all, giving us um 45 seconds or below 45 seconds to get three stars and then the more stars you get the better the reward so Oh, and then we have the witches and this guy just standing there so let's go ahead and take yeah i definitely need to come up with a better strategy and pick better units that i can deploy quick and that will be effective against bulletproof as well as regular um, zombies yeah there you go. hello 46 seconds so if we do i guess 40 under anything plus 45 seconds you only get one star which kind of sucks so but like i said we'll go back uh, this, is, this is my first time playing i want to see how far i can go without uh struggling too much or until i die so let's go here station four okay so it's it's so once you we get to stage four it now becomes nine enemies other than um other than six and we have to kill them yeah 30 seconds is it's not a lot um do i have any units that i can deploy quick and yeah none of my units i can deploy quick enough so let's go ahead and go with this again and maybe for the next round i'll try to get some units that i can take out quick so here now we have the balloon zombies which are i can get infected uh, but then themselves are not very difficult to deal with it's just that when we use um, melee units they all get infected come on we have three more if we kill three more I need to figure out a unit that will help me because this guy the flamethrower not the flamethrower but this guy that uses a nitrogen he's cool but he's super super slow so he's definitely not going to help me get all the stars that I need so oh I put that in the most fast. We only have one more. Which we, we were able to get. But we only got one two star. Not bad. But we'll we'll see once I go back. So this the one arm soldier is I don't think he's bull of resistant. He is regular, but he, he might he does have a lot of well he'll take a lot of damage to go down, so but so far I'll say I like this uh this is my first time playing it i will have to like play it multiple times in order for me to see if it's something that i will do long term to grind uh, rewards and stuff but like i said the thing is that with this is that it rotates i i, I need to look this up i'm not sure if it's one week or every two weeks uh no, look at that we got oh we almost got three stars if you would have done it in a little bit 
uh, four more seconds and then we have see so this one this one's interesting because here you have bulletproof zombies but you also have melee resistant so you have to have a balance of okay so how are we going to accomplish this so I, I'm, I'm i'm tipping that this is the one that's going to take me the longest to do so we got those out the way but we now have to pull the resistance so what i'll do is i'll wait for my guard to be ready i'm not going to use the nitrogen guy but we'll use this guy and i think i have him maxed out so he should be able to deal with us um well, kind of slow actually so let's get rid of those so far not a challenge per se to uh, to finish the mission is more of a challenge to finish them in the amount of second that they're giving us so so far we finish one through four and we haven't struggled much so let's see what we get here we get more coins and monies well they're giving you a lot of monies actually so it's going to go into station five so now we have eight and four i'm not sure what that means kill starting enemies eight and four okay okay so for some reason on this stage starting from stage five i'm not able to use um wow look at that i'm not able to use some of my units I'm not sure why that is um but can, can we oh okay so let's so we have to use something that we have not used so how are we going to do this so do they show me the ones I can and cannot use? Okay, so let's see. We'll do not this. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, because I cannot. What for whatever reason I cannot use Sonya. How is this? How does this? I don't understand how this works. Okay, for this guy, maybe we'll do this. Let's do this one. Yeah, we have to like use at least five, so we'll do the mechanic. Mechanic is awesome, but I don't have him masked out though, so so we need two more units. Let's see what we can do here. Um I want a units that I can take out quick. How long does this girl take? 25 uh 50 seconds i don't that takes too long 25 seconds i'll take this guy and then carlos i have to get rid of carlos uh who else can i take fairly quick maybe this guy 24 seconds so let's give this a try because i don't want to waste time and see how well we're going to do here so i'm not sure what that means four and four and eight um Session one part one we have the healing guy here and then we have the policeman Yeah, this is let's see if this will work actually. I don't think it will Because um, it takes takes a while for me to get courage points and of course he got scared there um, So let's see. Yeah, it's getting definitely that's definitely once you get to stage five is where it becomes more challenging Because my units are getting scared and we have more we actually have more units coming in rather than before where it was you have you didn't have as many so definitely getting more challenging um let's see i didn't understand the objectives as far as i say eight and four and i didn't i don't think there's a time limit for this one for this one so let's see if uh once we finish this one if there's actually a time limit or not but i think we're doing okay uh still still doable there you go, we got rid of all of those. But yeah, I definitely want more units that I can take quicker rather than... And look, they actually switched my deck again. So we're going up against humans. Uh, and they're level 15. So and those guys are bullet resistant too. You have bullet resistant, but at least with the weakness. Are they bullet resistant? Wow, we actually finished that fairly quick, which is awesome. Uh, we need to go to stage two and then now we're back to zombies again so it looks like they, they're always using the same background it would have been cool if once we go to a different stage it would be like a different looking background so, so so they can show us that we're actually making progress um but it looks like it's the same 
background over and over again, which is okay. At least they're giving us reward and just things like that. So uh, for this one, I think we're doing good. Here's the range gun. And as you guys can notice, once you get damage to your boss, it, it actually carries over to the next stage. So you guys want to be mindful of that as well, or at least the one, because it's it's, there's two parts to this one. So you have to have, you have to accomplish one and two without actually dying, which makes sense. And then we actually managed to get rid of that. And then did we get any stars? We actually didn't get any, or maybe at the end, that's what we, I think part two is the one that we have to worry about. So we have the demon zombies there and we do have this girl she does a lot of damage so let's go ahead and take uh our doctor kane i believe that's his name and then so the real challenge will be maybe to get rid of those two at, on the back um and it looks like we're actually doing pretty okay so let's see maybe we'll use abby or maybe we can use another one of these since he's doing so good with his ability to do the um to exploit their vulnerabilities and then we use carlos of course which he is super awesome and we just have to get rid of this guy and actually no we have to still get rid of who was this me missing so seven out of seven so i'm not sure what's happening here i thought that we were done maybe we have to get rid of um fully get rid of those guys in the floor and i think the only way to get rid of those is to burn them well, it's quick enough. So maybe we we'll use this guy. Yeah, maybe for this one mission we might want to use because um, we're going to time out. We might want to use somebody with fire. So how is this going to end? Will they eventually? Well, they eventually do die, but it takes multiple tries. Rather than if you just use fire, they'll die quick enough. So what do we get here? We got two stars, which is not bad, but if I were to try this mission again, I will have to use something with fire. So we have stage five, but we're going to leave it uh, here, guys. I'll have to go back and try to tweak my deck um, based on the information that I learned so far from this mode. But I do like this mode. Like I said, I hope that when it comes to rotation, they don't give us the same challenges over and over again. Uh, which I think it will be pretty easy to rotate the challenges and I wish that they once you finish one stage We had like a different background for the metro that way It kind of gives you the sense that you're making progress other than okay You finish stage one uh, location one part one and then you move to part two and it's the same background But so far I like what I'm seeing and they are more stuff to come um, They are new stages not stage eight but uh, the old stages they have added uh, some pretty cool stuff so that's gonna be it for this one guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace